What is going on guys? We are putting spark plugs in the four liter Jeep today. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this air intake tube just to make everything a little easier. Got this up out of the way. Now there is a plug on the back of that. So if you wanted to take it off, you'd have to unplug a plug all the way back here on the back. I don't need to replace this, so I'm just gonna leave it connected. Now the gap on these should be 0 0.040. Now you can use just a regular spark plug gapper Personally, I like to use feeler gauges, they're a little more accurate. Mine doesn't go up that high, so I've got an 035 and a 005 to make my 040. And then we're just gonna double check that our gap is correct. Looks like we're good there. I am using Champion 7034s. Which is a double platinum plug. Also, for the plugs, you're going to need a 5 8 plug socket. Good thing to do is to replace these boots. They get dry rotted and they'll crack. Um, there's a spring in here. We're also gonna use some dielectric grease when we put this all back together. So to get these off, they simply just pop off. And then you've got that spring inside of it. This side goes towards the coil. This side's on the spark plug. The cone shaped in goes towards the spark plug as well. So it'll set down in there just like that. First, I'm gonna get a little dielectric grease. Squirt some in both ends. Then we can go put it on the coil. Now, when we get over to the vehicle, put our dielectric grease in our spring. First thing I'm going to do, put that spring down in there to make sure I get a good connection with the coil. And then we can simply slide our boot right over top, get it pushed down. Now we've got all our new plugs in, all our new coil boots on, ready to just stab this back on, put our bolts back in, and we're done.